Welcome back if you are returning, and uh, welcome to those who are just joining us in this uh, tutorial series that I'm trying to make. First off, I am SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi on the left and an instance of PIA portal connected to my PLC on the right. Um, I have a watch table of some inputs, outputs, and uh, memory area there in PIA portal so we can watch what happens as we program in this Raspberry Pi in Python. I've written a small function earlier that I'm going to show you. We have three attributes to this write output method. We have a dev, byte, bit, and command attribute. The dev will be our Snap7 client object, which would be our PLC that we're connected to. The byte bit is the what uh, we're going to try to write to, and the command would be true or false. So we're just trying to write a true and false, true or false statement to an output on the PLC. Since Snap7 doesn't really write bits, we need to read a byte area from hex 82. You can see dev.read area at the hexadecimal 82 area. Um, we read that, save it to data, then set a bool, use a set bool function in that data that we read from, and then we manipulate that bit using the command. Then we write it back to the PLC. So we read some data, changed a bit in it, wrote it back. And uh, that's the, basically what this write output does. Now let's dive into using this method inside a Python program. I'm using IPython, which helps a little bit better on learning some some Python libraries because of the dot notation helpers. If you push um, a dot and tab, it'll help you autocomplete. We will connect to the PLC. Um, as you see above, I've imported my Python library. I checked using the get connected method to see if I'm connected and it says it says true. So I am writing out plc.write output and I wrote the output to true. And you can see there in TIA portal that it set the value of q00 to true. I just set false, ran it again and put false and you can see that that it instantly set it to false. Now I am going to change this up a bit. I'm going to pass in a string value of whatever 0.0, .0 or whatever byte bit we're going to be putting into our or trying to manipulate in our PLC. One thing to note that if a output is tied to any of the ladder logic or rungs then it won't directly write to it if it's being change somewhere in the program so right here we are going to take the byte bit split it with the decimal convert each value into an integer and then pass it into the read area so we know where to grab that byte and, and set the bool again Um, I'm going to write a test program instead of using IPython. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so it's going to go quick. I do not type this fast, don't worry. I'm going to just set a blinking on-off program real quick. We'll have it blink on-off 10 times. So I do a for loop, x in range 10. We write our output. x will be a number one through ten, and then we use a mod two equal zero. As you can see, it's blinking on and off with a one second delay. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas on things you want to see, let me know.